I'll play Twitch for my coaching sesh because Twitch is OP right now. Let's Twitch see is... what clowns I have on my team. I got Tomo. <laughs> Wait, I got the boy. I think fight back. He fight missed back, his back. ability. He can win. Oh, 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 oh! triple kill. <laughs> I am depressed okay the first thing i gotta teach him though is you do not go lethal tempo that shit is so bad double lift made him bro double lifts gm hard stuck hell no don't listen to that guy all right let's go so you want me to just coach you live yes coach me live do you know what you want to play i think i want to play quirky or trist <laughs> okay that makes sense okay so i'm playing trist mid let's go yep slam it Dude, how come? Okay, I've always had this question, right? Like, um, why is it never the right move to go cleanse mid? Is TP really that important? You need TP, yeah. <laughs> you gotta have it. Like, just rush mercs. It's fine. I pretty much only go fleet on this champ. Actually, this is like a lethal tempo matchup, I think. Versus Aesol. Oh my god, low master game. <laughs> Yo, dude, I've been. Solo is just like not my thing, bro. So, level one. Probably E start. I think similar to bot, level two prior is pretty important. Mm -hmm. And I always try and flip a ward on their Raptors at level one. Okay. Like pretty nice info for the team. You know how to dodge the vision here, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then you just flip a ward. Wow. And they didn't even see. Wow. Hit the wave, hit the wave, hit the wave. Okay. Do you level E? Insta? Like no hesitation, yeah. just level it? No hesitation, no hesitation. Oh, I hate this part. Oh my god. Okay, that's fine. Yo, oh, keep like... hitting the wave, bro. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought I had I had push secured, bro. Well, if you crash at one, he can't last it on a turret. And he already oh. starts to Oh! Oh my god, I didn't mean... That's not a strategy bot lane, by the way. Crashing on one is not a thing. I see. Q. Oh. Q? Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. I didn't know that was a thing. Bro, mid is so different. Like I'm already, I already can tell you, no AD carry can go mid and know what you just said. It's not possible. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Dude, Do I just keep perma pushing him? Yeah, you just keep perma pushing him. Should I jump on his head or no? That, that's why Q is useful. Uh, you can, you can. If you can land the W. Level three spike, level three spike. He's level two. Maybe off this minion. Oh, that was good. That, that was good. <laughs> Wait, why didn't you reset your jump? You're fine. Just back. Okay, you ruined your lane, but it's fine. Why didn't you reset your jump? Just auto one more time. I don't know. I don't know, Pub. <laughs> You're actually right. Okay. You but know like... their jungler. You know their jungler started bot side, so hug bot side. Because now he's top side, because he cleared the bot three camps. You're low, so he could gank. You hit level 4 off the next creep here, so you should be fine. Oh, you missed the XP, what the fuck? You're okay, you're okay. Now, re you just TP back. It's fine, it's fine. I think I'm Chovy on this roll. I, you can stay, honestly. Honestly, you can stay. He was Oom, he was Oom. Okay. Push fast, push fast, push fast. Ah! Oh, minus one. Okay, nice. You have a slightly better buy because you stayed for that wave now. So jumping on his head is not ideal here. No, jump on his fucking head, man. Oh, really? Ah! Yeah. But you want to have Q up when you jump in. Yeah, that makes you sense. Don't, you don't want to let Aesol just free scale. Like, a Aesol is weak early, and he scales well. That does make sense. But sometimes I int my lane trying to punish. Well, like, you, you want to play aggressive and pull their jungler to your lane, and then just jump away if he comes with the jump reset. Yeah, that makes sense. If you make their jungler come mid, then your side laners can play pretty freely. Oh, Viego's here. Ow. Yeah, so so ping that Viego is there. Whoa. Communicating? Yeah, you could even ping like Viego is alive right there. And like the spot. And that's good info, because your Rengar is trying to make a play on top. Plus one, I'm six now. Yeah, go back to mid, go back to mid. Where are you going? I was doing a bit of a fakey why, fake. Why did you pop your pot? I don't know. I thought it was gonna go all in soon. I also popped my Q to kill that guy's ward. I don't know if that was good. That's, That's fine. That's plus one though. Yeah. You just keep hard shopping, by the way. Okay. 
Fuck this loser. Trist mid. Trist mid. Just don't think. Just hit the fucking creeps and push him under turret. Oh. And then when he's last hitting, you can hit his turret. You can bounce E off the turret, maybe. You can hit him. Okay. That's up. That's fine, actually. He's oom. Isn't he fucked now because he has no TP? He's oom. L look at jungle. Look at jungle. Your junglers are fighting. Oh, shit, oh my god, is... he doesn't know how to use F keys. Shut up, bro. Uh, I'm trying my best. Oh, shit. FF. It's over. It's over. Go back mid. The fight is over, no? Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Okay. This looks like maybe. shit. He's level 5. This looks like shit. I am not jumping in there. Well, then ping him back if you're not going to go. I was joking with the 15, but I don't think this guy knows that. How am I just... Nah, I fucking have to do attack speed FF. You're fine. Keep pushing, he's in a bad spot. He is, he is. You keep, you keep leaving the wave and you can be autoing creeps and pushing faster. You're not, you're not like pressuring him at all. You're right, you're right. I was kind of looking for fruities, but you're right. That makes no sense what I'm doing. He's in a bad spot. No need to look for fruits here, you're in gankable. There's zero mana. You'll easily spot Viego coming because you know he's topside. Got it. Got a ward here. Ward, ward Raptor's here? Yeah. You can look for solo kill. Oh my. Maybe still? Um, Why did you eat the turret, my friend? Well... Yeah. <laughs> As the turret shoots, that's right when I jump. So I like perfectly take minimal turret shots. And then you just go to town. That would make sense. That would make sense. Oh, you bought Crick Look? That's kind of weird. When you have nine, you I don't nine. know. When I had nine hundred, it's like recurve or dagger crit. I think boots, dagger, dagger crit. Dagger. Boots dagger dagger. Oh fuck! Boots dagger dagger. I think... boots are OP. Boots in general are OP. I did not know that. Dude, so much of what you're saying is the exact opposite of what I'm gonna tell you when you play bot lane. Boots are terrible <laughs> bot lane, and boots. Really? I mean, they're not terrible. They're not terrible, but like most of the time, you're you don't want to go boots. Most of the time, you, yeah. And I don't know what I just did again. I'm, I'm just like leaving lane for no reason. I don't really ever eat the creep wave when I play Trist either. Because that just like breaks all the tension in the lane. Yeah, you have to flush it. Fine, Ace is no ult now. You're ungankable again. Okay, okay. It's fine to just like cue the wave too. If, it's, if it makes a difference between getting pushed in or not. Mm-hmm. I see, but you don't either wave. Yeah. What the fuck is blue? A blue buff? What the actual fuck? My god. Cobalt are coaching is really insane. <laughs> like, they need to give blue buff over to enemy mid just to go even. Your side laner, you're not really looking at the side laners that much. Hmm. Let me try to start using the F keys. Uh. Eh. Okay, I think I'm an expert now. Yeah. So you have unleashed TP now. If they are overextended bot hitting turret, you can TP behind. I always try to make sure I won't lose too much for it if I do it though. Yeah. So like, I would not TP. I here wouldn't TP yet. now. Yeah. I, I I always try to get my wave first before I TP. There's like double so now it's the when you in fog and luck. Fog and luck. Oh, the ward expire. That's unlucky. You can still hover though. Your yeah. jungler's on that side. Maybe he looks to make oh. something happen. Diego's in your mid. Oh, oh, um, I would not have hit that. You're a bit far from mid now. Yeah, yeah. You can look. You can look. Good. Looking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next guy too. What did I do? I ulted the Ace wall on accident. I mean, not really on accident, but I thought I would kill Sona. Oh well. Alright, this high can hopefully go mid when he resets. Yeah, stay bot. Stay, stay bot, you're chilling. Ace will use TP here, so now you have TP advantage. This always feels good as mid. When you made the first play, they TP to react. And then... Oh! I'm dead. Yeah. Fuck. Why? You I did not realize he had Rylice. And what can I say? I'm giving a Chovy performance, but... Looking like a bit of a team gap. Not gonna lie. 
I would. You would think about TPing, right? Does he have a bounty? Yeah, does he have a bounty? Does he have a bounty? Okay, nice. I would always check to see if they have a bounty before I TP. If they have like a bounty, I think it's worth. If not, it's not worth. That guy is an insane bounty. Yeah. I would have TP'd like faster, no hesitation. But you have to check. Would you move here? Nope, nope, nope. Just ping them back. Oh. You use pings a lot more than I do. Yeah, you gotta direct your teammates. <laughs> that actually might be something that is hampering my win rate quite a bit. I do not try to really communicate whatsoever with my teammates. Would you base at 1200 or wait for BF? Uh. Wow, kind of it feels bad either way. Because yeah. now is like a pretty optimal my base timing. timing. Yeah, I mean, fuck it, just stay at this point. I'll, uh... I think I'll... Caulfield's Warhammer is so shit. It's such so a bad I, like, item. never based by it. Oh, shit. I don't beat him, actually. I was thinking about going, but... I think you would have beat him if you had to jump on him. <laughs> this is okay. I would say... Wow, you guys just, like... Didn't you first pick Triss? These guys picked terrible champs for Triss mid. You're all AD. <laughs> if he tries to hit, you can look. Oh my god, I'm so dog shit, bro. I should have just buffered that. Oh well. I think you could wait, like, you can, like, let it cook a little bit and see if he's gonna use W on the turret to push fast. Then it's, like, giga free. It's, like, checking if he's a noob or not. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll do a little bit of a burger flip. Hide on bush is always chill. See if this bush is warded first. It's not. Usually they're not warded. They could be using second monitor technology, though. Yeah, if they don't show after a little bit, I just push. Is it worth the flip? Oh, never mind. Got a TP. So I would hover down river here. Okay. Like, at least just check that bush, see if there's a random pink. I think you can jump on a soul. Oh, he just warded. Must have... Just Wait. warded, yeah. No, he didn't. He didn't have a ward. You can jump on him and flash his ulti. Probably win all in 1v1. Uh, probably wasted my flash, but it's all good. <laughs> a bit, yeah, but hey, that's a big kill. Oh, you're dead. Yeah! Oh, you got his flash. Nice. All good, all good. We'll take those. So, how does Aesol's passive work? Like, every. Like, it, it. It, it uh. Looks like every once in a while it does a burst of damage. Oh, his Q? Yeah, it's like Velkov's disintegration rate, sort of, where it, it, like, makes a ring around you, and every time the ring completes, it's like an extra chunk of damage. I see, I see. Should I be top or bot, actually? I don't know if I did the right thing pinging this guy off. It doesn't matter. I mean, he's just pissed, and you're, like, maybe getting in a position to carry, so I would just be greedy here, too. Because this is, like, one more wave of farm and safer for you. True, true. I'll send him to the trenches. I'm going to do the signature Pavolta Rage Bush. Or not Rage Bush, but, you know, it's like the game's doing It's not even a Rage Bush. Like, I mean, you like can't collapse push. and make a play. Yeah, it's just, just sidelining. You're close to Navori. I'm usually not too involved in like 5v5 until I get Navori anyway, unless it's like really juicy. Fuck it. Go, 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 go. Nice fuck it. Oh, no way! Oh. No way, that's done last a year, bro! That sucks. I mean, I would have done, I would have done it the exact same way. Wow, hmm. I, I shed a single tier. Should the should the vote come up? Is that what you would do in this situation, or just football to never give up? Game is like looking pretty hopeless. Not gonna lie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah co coach me on the ideal time to FF. Is it directly after the enemy team aces you, or is it after you get solo picked inside late? Like it's always a big question of mine. It has to be after like team gets wiped. Yeah, if you do it now, course. you just look like you're salty, and yeah, like your yeah, teammates exactly. will actually get mad at you. No, be exactly. Like, why is he giving up on the game? Even and, though it's like fuck. And if you really do not want your team to FF, 
you do it right after you win a fight. Like you, you put the vote up to put it on cooldown. Like you waste the cooldown. Oh that's, shit, that's crazy. I'm gonna actually go one more. Fuck it. One more dagger for me. They're gonna get Drake. And this tower's one. Should I just YOLO push this? Because I'm yeah, gonna assume they're on Drake. Yeah, I mean, you kind of have to to come back in the game, right? Like, you can't just play safe and expect to come back. See, this is what you view as rage splitting, but this is, to me, like, playing the game. I'm so fucking dead. Oh. Ah! Dude, you gotta think about your jump reset more. If, if you plug in one more auto there before ulting him away, you, like, auto-canceled, I think. Oh, really? I feel like getting your jump reset is so important, yeah. Because you, you eat, and then you auto, and then you, like... No, you're we're right. We're about to auto again, and then you just, like, r autoed him. No, you're right, you're right. I agree with that, I agree with that. You are correct, you are correct. I don't know why. I, I mean, it's it's totally normal for me to... Wait. It's so normal, Oh, my God. Oh, my God. After TP bot here. Nothing to do. TP bot. Oh, oh yes, TP bot. You're a genius. Um, I learned a lot. <laughs> I actually did. No joke. Wait, both the Cyrus is one HP. Keep going, keep going, keep going. They have to choose between killing you and doing Baron. Maybe you get bot. Go, go, go. Yes, go, 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 go! The bounties! Oh! I'm dead to the Andrews. What? I'm 1 HP actually. Nice! And look, they don't get Baron, right? They had to decide defend bot or take Baron. They didn't take Baron. Rage. If I die, he's stream sniping. Oh, by the way, am I doing the right build? Don't I always go last do whisper. this. Don't go last whisper. Don't go okay. last whisper here. They, they don't have any armor. You can go like BT. I would go like QSS is not bad too. Fuck, TF top is so broken. TF top is so broken. Wait, I I almost never buy QSS when I'm like, oh my god. But against TF, you have to. You're probably yeah. too late anyway. Yeah. Might as well just do some fucking camps. Interesting. I always buy last whisper third. Because it's like such an efficient item. Even oh, really? against armor. Even against armor, yeah. I did some I did some tests. But I think mid might be oh. a bit different because you do a little bit less damage, but the utility is like better to have other items. Shit, I don't know. Maybe you're right. Like I did the math on Jinx too, between Last Whisper and IE, third. You'd think that uh -huh. you'd think that IE would be like really competitive, but it's not really. Last Whisper does more damage and it's cheaper. Actually, I trolled you. You absolutely should have gone LDR third because you're 5 AD team comp. So they're just going to start giga stacking armor. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to get this. Oh, fuck. We don't have Ranger LT. Never mind. I mean, what can we do, though? I have to rage split. You can look for like a cheeky insect on mid here with Draven walking up. It's like pretty crazy, but. Um, I hesitated too much. I did the classic walk back and forth. Um, I probably need a base, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Kraken God is about to pop off. I can feel it. Okay. Okay. Winnable. Winnable. You know... Regardless of the outcome, I actually did learn a lot about playing mid. Man, fuck you, bro. Oh! Oh. Yeah, I mean, you're, both both the sidelanders just got shit on, and your drone got shit on. Actually, everyone got shit on. In games like that, I just try and find like that one timing I can make a play and get shut down with TP or something. Yeah. Rage push is definitely not the right way to describe it, but I have lost so many games because of somebody rage pushing and my team doesn't respond 
or we respond late and one guy like in that case like tf just dies and then that guy gets like back into the game and the game's super weird uh when it's hopeless i call it range yeah, it pushing but it's definitely not like just like tilt like fucking headset off pushing it's actually just like the only way to win yeah it just puts like the winning team in the position of pressure where they're like oh we have to like force hard on our side or we have to give up our play and like you know defend so it just like puts pressure on the enemy team even if you're losing all right cue it up eugene cue it up okay